I needed to get some places bought, and I would never felt so down in my life and rejected. And so I went to the lake, and I looked over all my problems, and I just said, well, Lord, I haven't got any problems at all. I don't care where I ever get out of this bed or not. I went to bed about 6 o'clock in the evening. So I always said, you going to bed that early? And I said, yeah, we've had it. So she came to bed with me. So I told the Lord, you got this problem, this problem, and this problem. I've not got any. I don't care whether I get out of bed again or not. And uh, my back's out of place. That's your problem. And all of a sudden, I went into one of those trance-like states. And here, like out of the corner of a wall, like on a ray of a light, the Lord just come down like on an escalator. And he come in the Shekinah glory. And I saw it several times before that, but this time it came. And it was like compressed depression was against my mind. And as that light come in, it was like all of that darkness fled from my mind, and I come into a place of, of peace as I've never known before. And I was laying on my stomach, but, boy, I wasn't in the spirit. I was rejoicing and saying, Lord, you've come for me. I get to go. He said, no. I said, Lord, I am so miserable down here, and I'm not doing any good, and I want to come home. He said, the reason you do is you're a coward. You're still self-centered, and you just ain't grown up yet. And as for you doing some good, he said, you are. You're a liar when you say you aren't. And it's time you start agreeing with me. And this is some of the ways that the visitations happen with me. And I would still rather have a rebuke than all the praise of man. And so the Lord, uh, he said, I've come to take care of the problems you give me. And the first one I'm going to take care of right now is your back. He touched my back and I was totally healed. He said, them other problems you give me, I'll take care of them within a month. It'll all be ironed out within a month. Everything will be done. Then, I have a purpose for you. And you have a time of dying so that you can grow up. And he said, I'll come again. You'll not come to me. But I'll come again in the future. And you'll never be separated from me again. So you just hang in there and grow up. And you say that nobody down here has any need for you. What do you think would happen to your wife? She's totally dependent on you. And nearly all of your mode and your ambition right now are all self-centered and move out of selfishness. And it's time to grow past this area and start putting others first in your life. And then the Lord, he, he just went back up the way he came. And when he went back up, I started bawling and squalling. Uh, I was as comfortable as I've ever been in my life. There wasn't one single thing wrong with me. But I was utterly miserable. Because when he came, my mind knew all things of the past. Why? I saw the future, too. Some of it I didn't like. But I knew it. I knew the purposes. And I so desired to go with him in that Shekinah. The Shekinah glory is like the white clouds in the evening with the sun shining behind them when they get like white coals. And it has a feeling of peace like nothing you've ever seen before. Uh, that's what you're getting ready to experience. I haven't seen the Shekinah since 77. I've saw it lightly on some men at different times as they brought a real anointed word of God. But before that, people used to look for it all the time. But it seemed like in 77, we went into a real dark period. But now, get ready for the Shekinah to come again. Get ready for the mind of man to come into a clearness that you've never known before. And it will.